Hurricane Irma is smashing tiny islands in the eastern Caribbean with 185 mile per hour winds. Early video shows just part of the destruction. The Category 5 storm made its first landfall overnight on the island of Barbuda. A government message from nearby Antigua ended with the words, May God protect us all. Irma is the most powerful Atlantic hurricane ever measured outside the Caribbean or the Gulf of Mexico. It's expected to pound the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Haiti during the next 48 hours. Those islands could see more than a foot of rain and storm surges up to 20 feet high. Our correspondents are in the Caribbean and Florida where Irma is expected by Sunday. We begin with Tony DeCopel in San Juan, Puerto Rico, which is bracing for landfall in just a few hours. Tony, good morning. Good morning. That wall of clouds behind me is the first sign of Irma here in Puerto Rico. The winds are already starting to pick up, and later today, within hours, the eye of the storm is expected to be about 50 miles off of this coast, battering the capital of Puerto Rico. Hotels are folding up their operations. Stores in town are boarded up or completely stripped clean of supplies. This hotel is using plywood and sandbags, anything to keep the water out. And the governor warns that this storm could be more dangerous than Hurricane Harvey. Irma slammed the northern Leeward Islands overnight, including Antigua, Barbuda, and St. Martin, bringing powerful winds and coastal flooding. President Trump has declared a state of emergency in Puerto Rico, and forecasters say the island hasn't seen a storm the size of Irma since 1928, when Hurricane Felipe killed nearly 3,000 people. This time, the governor has preemptively opened dozens of shelters. And I can tell you, for the 3.4 million residents of this island, the big concern as the rain starts to fall here is toppled power lines and buildings. The head of the island's power company warned that when Irma comes through here, dark spots could exist on the island for between a week and six months, Nora. Wow, that's difficult. Tony DeCoppel in Puerto Rico. Thank you so much.